Hello music therapy friends, welcome back to video two in this week's playlist series on a genre. The genre is arena rock. Last time we looked at some popular uh, bands that are in the genre and uh, did an example of a pop tune that you'd hear from an arena rock band. This time around we're going to be focusing on a key feature of arena rock and that's the power ballad. We're going to be looking at a list of power ballads by the previously mentioned groups and then we're going to end with a demonstration. All right, that out of the way, let's jump right into our list of songs. The first one is Don't Stop Believin' by Journey. Um, a handful of these are going to be incredibly popular, very iconic, so you're probably going to know them when you hear them. If not, if this is new territory for you, check them out. They're great songs. Um, a lot of them have stood the test of time, like 40 years, so definitely says something there, 40, 50 years. All right, next one we have is Bohemian Rhapsody, another huge name in the arena rock, classic rock, um, hard rock genre, like really popular tune, still hear it on the radio, still in tons of uh, TV, movies, pop culture references, all that. So very influential song. Next one is Renegade by Styx. Really great song that demonstrates different uh, volumes or dynamics are going to shift in that song early on when we get into the power part of the power ballad. Um, from there, we've got I Want to Know What Love Is by Foreigner. A little bit more of a traditional uh, power ballad there. Take It on the Run by REO Speedwagon. As usual, they're kind of on the pop side of things, but um, definitely um, has that um, power ballad feel to it. Very dramatic. Um, Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi. Another excellent example, very dramatic, full band ballad um, that goes to up into those power ballad heights as well. Africa by Toto is another example. Carry On Wayward Son by Kansas. Hotel California as well, that kind of sits in a traditional classic rock space, but it's really got that ballad -y sort of um, dynamic level, the volume, it doesn't get too intense, but it ends with kind of a big crescendoing solo at the end as well with the full band kicking in nice and strong. Um, last one is Boston's More Than a Feeling. That's the one we're going to be going over today. Um, I'm going to do kind of a, a chilled out, relaxed version. I like to end um, sessions with a nice cool down. So this is going to serve as our cool down as well as our power ballad example. So that out of the way, let's jump right into it. So Boston's More Than a Feeling. Feel free to put on some headphones or if you just want to have it on in the background, that works too. However you want to enjoy the music.
right, thank you very much, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your week and a great weekend. I'll see you back here next week. Bye.